this is one Philippines. thing Filipinos should understand, mm. okay? For a long time, China was prosperous, right? That is an economic miracle, right? For decades. Okay. It began with Deng Xiaoping, the openness. Market opening, yeah. Openness, right? Openness on everything, education, culture, yada, yada, right? Okay. You notice when things were good in China, China was very peaceful. Or they were very nice, cooperation, things like that, right? When things turn sour, when the economy turns sour, especially the economy, then they get more defensive, they get more aggressive. Externally, why? It's to divert attention from the local domestic audience to show that they are powerful, things like that. Because they don't want to show the, their domestic audience that they are weak. So they use diversionary tactics by being aggressive externally. All right. Case in point, the Philippines, for example. You know China's economy right now is in the doldrums. The exports are down. Real estate sector urban, in problem, urban yeah. youth unemployment. The mm. future of China, youth unemployment, urban, is up. The last time they reported a figure was 21% of urban youth unemployed. Then they stopped reporting that figure. Too embarrassing, yeah. Why? Because China only values primarily two things. Stability and growth. No. Material wealth mm. and saving face. That's it. Everything else is secondary. Understand that. So the reason why they're aggressive is to save face to a domestic audience. That's our concern. Why? Because the communist rulers want to legitimize, to continue to legitimize their rule over China. And so they're afraid if there's social unrest because of a poor economy, we might see Tiananmen Square mm -hmm. redux. And they don't want that. 